Hello learners, welcome back. In our previous video, we have discussed on how to find the n terms of the given arithmetic sequence. But this time, we'll be discussing on how to find the sum of the first n terms of a given arithmetic sequence. So if you want to learn, just watch the entire video. We are now on Module 4, Lesson 1, finding the sum of the first n terms of a given arithmetic sequence. So we have two formulas to be used. The first one is S sub n, this is the sum of n terms, equals n over 2, n is the number of terms, times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. a sub 1 is the first term, and then a sub n is the last term. This formula will be used if the first and last terms are given. Now we have the second formula. S sub n, which is equal to n over 2, times the sum of 2a sub 1, and the quantity of n minus 1 times d. d is the common difference. This formula will be used if the last term is not given. So this time, I will give you examples. Now, I will give you two examples. We have the first example is to find the sum of the integers from 8 to 25. So our a sub 1 is 8, our first term, and then our last term is 25. Now, what is the value of n? You can count from 8 to 25. You can have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, until 25, or you simply, you can have 25 minus 7. Sir, why 7? Because you can observe, we are just asked to find the sum of the integers from 8 to 25. So 1 to 7 is not included. So therefore, we will subtract 7 from 25. So we have 18. So our n is 18. But you can count. Just check if our n is really 18. Just count from 8 to 25. Then we have 18. We will substitute the given values to the formula. We will use this formula since our first and last terms are given. So we have our n 18 over 2 times the quantity a sub 1. We have 8 plus a sub n. The last term is 25. Okay, now, 18 divided by 2, we have 9. And then the sum of 8 and 25 is 30, uh, 33. And 9 times 33, we have, yes, very good, 297. So now, the sum of the integers from 8 to 25 is 297 is S sub 18. Did you follow? Okay. So now we have example number 2. Find the sum of the first 14 terms of the sequence. Negative 3, negative 1, 1, 3, and so on. So we have negative 3 as a sub 1, our first term, then second term, third, fourth. Our n is 14. And then our d, we need to solve for d. How to solve for d? So we'll find the common difference. Common difference of this one. Common difference. Okay. Negative 1 minus negative 3, what is the answer? We have 2. 
Oh, we have this one. Negative 1 minus negative 3. The rule is, we will change the sign of the subtrahend and then proceed to addition. So therefore, we have 1, negative 1, plus 3. And the answer is 2. Again, we will change the sign of the subtrahend and then proceed to addition. So from negative, we have positive and then proceed to addition. Then now, the answer is then 1 minus negative 1. Let's try 1 minus negative 1. So we'll change the sign of the subtrahend. We have a proceed to addition plus 1. So therefore, this is 2. Still, we have 2. 3 minus 1, of course. This is 2. So therefore, our B now is and we are going to find the sum of the 14 curves of this sequence. We will use this formula since the last term, the 14th term is not given. So we have this formula. We will substitute the given values to the formula. We will erase this one. Our n is 14 over 2, then we have 2 times a sub 1, negative 3, plus our n, we have 14, and our d is 2. We simply substitute the given values to the formula. Okay? Now, 14 divided by 2, we have 7. And then in here, uh, we can multiply. And multiply here. 2 times negative 3, we have negative 6. Plus, this so 1. 14 minus 1, 13 times 2. We will simply uh, copy 7, then copy negative 6 plus 13 times 2, we have 26. Remember, you cannot uh, directly add negative 6 plus 13 because of PEMDAS. We will uh, first multiply before we can add, okay? Copy 7. We have negative 6 plus 26, that is 20. Okay? And then 7 times 20 is 140. So now, 140 is the sum of the first 14 terms of the sequence, negative 3, negative 1, 1, 3. So until in the 14 terms, we have 140. Our S sub 14. Am I clear? If you have a question, just comment below and I will answer it in my next video. Thank you for watching.